Hi, I'm Glenn Lubert. I'm one of the co-founders of Be Your Own Best Coach, a five-week group coaching program to increase your self-leadership skills and habits and boost your well-being. I'm here with my colleague and co-founder, Dr. Deborah Teplow. Hi, Deborah. Hey, Glenn. Hello, hello. So I want to ask you, what are you most excited for about this upcoming fall cohort of Be Your Own Best Coach? Well, it's a really easy question to answer. I am so jazzed about the new self-leadership map that we've created that people will be completing um, using our solution-focused story crafting method. And what's cool about this method is that it gives you a chance to write the story of the hero within you. And so the point is that all of us tell stories. Stories are how human beings make sense of the world. And we tell stories about our own lives. But so often we tell the stories of our failures or what we aren't good enough about or, you know, what went wrong instead of recognizing, honoring and amplifying the hero within us that helps us do what we want to do on the job or at home in our lives. And so our solution focused story crafting process and method helps you build your self-leadership skills in a very structured, deliberate process so that you account for all the factors that do influence your thinking, your feeling, your beliefs, and your behavior so you can really get to where you want to go. And so now I'm curious about you, Glenn, and what is exciting to you about our new cohort? Well, first, I want to say that that map sounds fantastic, and I know how much work uh, you put into developing that and how fun, amazing of a piece of uh, tool that's going to be for people to take away from this course. And I think what's, what I'm most excited about, which complements this self-leadership map so well, is the community that we've developed for Be Your Own Best Coach. We have... We're going to have all the new people coming into the uh, course, and we're also going to have some great alumni champions that are going to be returning as well. And we're all going to be working off a new uh, software platform that's designed that's around community centric, which is going to allow us to develop our curriculum in a community centric uh, fashion. So that way you are not only learning from us and being able to communicate and chat with us in the community center, but you're gonna be able to learn from each other. And that's one of the powers of the cohort-based model is that you really get to do this with each other. And what I'm also excited about within the community is that we have our new partner pod program, which is going to be which is going to be uh, organ, helping organized by our alumni champions. And this is going to give you the opportunity optionally to just go much deeper with uh, one or two other people in the program and go on the journey together and really uh, deepen that connection. And like I said, not only learn from us, but uh, learn from each other. Yeah, and I wanted to add, it's, it is learning and learning, especially if you're talking about self-leadership, it's not learning the what, Um, uh, and the theory, but it's the how. And self-leadership means having the skills. That's the how to be the self-leader, the effective self-leader you need to be to get where you want to go. And so the skills, when you read it on paper, sound simple. Yeah, makes sense. But it's doing it that isn't as simple. Simple, but not easy. It takes a lot of practice. And it takes practice in, in real life, but it takes practice First, in simulations, so you can role play, you can you can practice doing uh, deliberate practice drills within your partner pod and in the course, and I think that really is what um, makes a difference between the you know attend the the course and get the training that you need that will really make a difference in your life. And, that, and this is, a, as you said, this is a safe space to be able to practice in. And then the community is just for uh, members uh, that take this course. And so it's going to be a very safe space for us. And I that it makes it more, so much more exciting to uh, see what's the possibilities that we're going to have in this next cohort. So we look forward to seeing you all in, in the next cohort. Thank you.